What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we are going to be previewing the big Manchester Derby game which is happening this weekend. But first, before we crack on with this video, this video is sponsored and brought to you by OneFootball. This video is brought to you by OneFootball. If you want to download the OneFootball app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The One Football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world. If you just click on a game, including any Manchester City game, it will not only bring up the latest team news, but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game. If you want to download this app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date. Thank you very much to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. If you want to go and download the OneFootball app, please do so through the link at the top of my description. That would be much appreciated by me. Don't forget also to subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We are on that big stride now towards 15,000 subscribers. I've got it set in my brain. I want 15,000 subscribers before 2020 ends. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. We are now less than 700 subscribers away. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments below with your score and team prediction for this game. We're in our Christmas jumper, we're in the festive mood, a festive game with a rivalry on the line at Old Trafford. Let's preview this big game. Manchester United in sixth. Manchester City in seventh. Manchester City trailing Manchester United by just one point after ten games each, suggesting to me that this could well be a very close game. Now, United aren't in too bad a form, nor are Manchester City when it comes to Premier League football. However, Manchester United have struggled in Europe, though, uh, and uh, have dropped from the Champions League to the Europa League, things you love to see. Uh, that happened uh, just this midweek, thanks to a Manchester United defeat in Germany. I feel like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's job could well be on the line. Exiting the Champions League to enter the Europa League, losing the derby at home. A bit of a mess start from Manchester United. He's under pressure. You mark my words. It's, this game is just what Manchester United need to try and rejuvenate their season. This could also be the final nail that Manchester City can deliver to them. I'm hoping we are going to see the latter. Now, looking at the dangers for City in this game, it all comes about from Manchester United's attack. They will play exactly the same as how they played against us last year, winning three games out of four against us. That will be to sit tight defensive, no space, don't allow Manchester City to play and be quick on the counter-attack and quick in attack, looking to attack from the off and be clinical. That is exactly what United will be looking for. So for Manchester City, I feel like a simple solution here uh, is just for City to cover the gaps and uh, be strong defensively. We love keeping clean sheets. We've been keeping clean sheets galore recently, all thanks to Manchester City's newest signing, Ruben Diaz, coming in uh, and organising our defence at the back. We've got a big question which we'll speak about uh, in just one moment about who may partner Ruben Diaz. Uh, but I'm hoping Manchester City will be firm and organised and deal with any balls coming in from over the top. Uh, and also I'd be probably looking for a bit of pace uh, from the wing backs here. Maybe not looking for them to overcommit themselves too much uh, to try and keep Manchester United's wide players out of this game. Uh, also got threat through Bruno Fernandes uh, in the middle too that City needs to just be careful of. Particularly if we are giving away penalties because Bruno Fernandes likes scoring penalties. Uh, unless the goalkeeper comes off his line, then they do tend to save them. Then he puts in the uh, puts it into the net when they do stay on the line. So if we're conceding penalties, it's important that Edison stays on his line if he wants to try and uh, save them penalties. So there we go. 
Uh, United also like attacking in phases. Uh, United do like trying to mount comebacks and score quite a, a, a few goals, a couple of goals. Uh, they try and do that either early on or late on, so City need to be careful of their phase play. So first 20 minutes and last 20 minutes in particular, City need to be careful, making sure that we are playing to the whistle uh, and we are keeping switched on from minute one right through to the final whistle going, not just playing uh, until we think the game is done and then switching off. Uh, fine margins, like I said, that will decide this game. So Man City need to make sure that they are just uh, playing a nice, safe game. I feel like if we're nice and patient in this game, I feel like we can pick up the victory and the three points that we are looking for. Uh, players like Martial, if he ends up featuring, and uh, Rashford, these are quick players at City, uh, really need to be careful of, particularly up front. I'm wondering if we might see um, maybe a couple of uh, other Manchester United players. I'm wondering who, who, what, what's happening. Paul Pogba, obviously, his agent coming out with some ridiculous comments in midweek. Uh, his question now under scrutiny as to who Manchester United are going to put in, in, uh, in the middle now. Um, are we going to see a bit of Fred? Are we going to see a McTominay? Is there, is there something here that City can really uh, get their teeth into? Um, because these players, uh, these are hard-working players. These are players that will look to try and limit the space for Manchester City and make it as difficult as possible. I look to the weak links. I look at Manchester United's defence and I think that can be got at. And if we're nice and attacking and nice and positive whilst also being cautious at the back... I'm confident that we can come out with a positive result. Now, I don't think this will be a good game. That's my complete honest opinion. Uh, I wouldn't rule out a draw if I'm completely honest. I'd be very surprised if this isn't a both teams to score score draw if I'm completely honest. Um, my heart's telling me Manchester City can sneak this 2-1. My head's telling me actually uh, I reckon it might be a 1-1 draw, which is a bit of uh, sitting on the fence so to speak there uh, but if City do want to win this game it's very important that we are clinical City will create chances so when we create them chances we need to make sure we're putting the ball into the back of the net like we did against Burnley not so much like we did against Fulham uh, or against Marseille where we did create more opportunities and we should have been scoring more that's me nitpicking but uh, that's what could have been happening it's these big games against United where the chances are more limited that you do need to be making sure if you're creating two or three good opportunities that you are coming away with two or three goals because if you don't uh, you're not going to find yourself having uh, a positive result from this game. Now, looking at Manchester City, Sergio Aguero, we've been told by Pep Guardiola in his uh, post-match uh, press conference uh, after the Marseille game that he will not be starting in this game. He isn't that fit to be starting, so I imagine it will be Gabriel Jesus starting for Manchester City up top. I imagine with Fernandinho starting in midweek that it will be Rodri starting in defensive midfield, which is a bit harsh on Fernandinho because uh, he put in a really good shift against Marseille. However, how fit is Fernandinho? Can he do um, two games in, in four days? That remains to be seen. Um, but I would like to, if Fernandinho can do that, for him to start ahead of Rodri. That's what I'd be looking for. Fernandinho will cover them gaps, will help Manchester City. He'll do them tactical fouls if he feels like a foul needs to be made. Uh, he's a, a really good player that I would want in a Manchester derby. Uh, this is a game where tensions are high, uh, there's going to be lots of tough tackling in there, it's going to be in your face, you're wanting your leaders to really take control of the game and I regard Fernandinho as being one of Manchester City's best leaders on the pitch. So if Fernandinho can be on that pitch, I would like to see him better him on the pitch than on the bench. That's my opinion. Will it be Mendy starting at left-back? Who's going to play at wing-back? Is it going to be Mendy at left-back? Is it going to be Cancelo at left-back? Uh, if Cancelo uh, doesn't start at left-back and we go with Mendy, is it going to be Walker or Cancelo? These are the questions that Pep needs to think about. Uh, if I'm completely honest, I would like to see uh, Cancelo starting at left-back and Walker at uh, right-back, looking for the pace, looking for... I think that's just a solid option there for Manchester City, and that's probably what I would be going for. Uh, I think Mendy's a... a fairly decent offensive player defensively he's quite suspect and I'm uh, with Manchester United having a lot of success against us last season that was mainly down to their wingers having success against our fullback so I would be going for our strongest fullbacks I regard uh, Cancelo as our best defensive fullback uh, and I think Kyle Walker's uh, also a pretty strong defensive player too so I'd probably go with Walker and Cancelo playing at right back and left back respectively uh, then we'll look about the uh, we'll look at the midfield we know that Kevin De Bruyne will be playing who else is going to partner him alongside him in that centre uh, of midfield. It's going to be Ilkay Gundogan, which is who I think it will be. Uh, will it be Phil Foden? Will it be Bernardo Silva? I don't think Bernardo Silva did enough against Marseille to warrant him to be starting in this game against Manchester United. But still, City have the options there. Uh, Edison, I imagine, will be returning in goal for Manchester City too. We will be seeing uh, Ruben Diaz returning back to the Manchester City starting 11-2, which leaves the big question now. Laporte or Stones? 
who do we go for? Anyway, I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you. I've gone for Edison in goal, Kyle Walker right back, Cancelo left back. I've gone for John Stones to be part of Ruben Diaz at the heart of Manchester City's defence. I think it will be Rodri starting, but I would like to, if he's fit enough, to see Fernandinho starting instead. Uh, I think it'll be Ilkay Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne partnering each other in the middle. I've gone for Riyad Mahrez on the right wing, Raheem Sterling on the left wing. I don't think Ferran Torres, even though he got a goal and an assist, I don't think he will be starting in this game. Um, he could come off the bench and be an impact sub, though. I think uh, could well be an option there for Manchester City. And I've gone for Gabriel Jesus to start up top. And I imagine if they're needed, we will be seeing Sergio Aguero in the second half. Now, like I said, my heart tells me 2-1 to Manchester City, but I'm going to go with my head here, and I'm going to go for 1-1 one, one for this game. So I'd love to know in the comments below your score and team prediction for this big Manchester derby. So it is the derby. It is at Old Trafford. It will be kicking off at 5.30pm GMT on Saturday, the 12th of December, 2020. Live on Sky Sports, there are no fans because Manchester is in tier three so no fans whatsoever uh, Paul Pogba taking the mick with Manchester United they're out the Champions League they're into the Europa League let's top that week off and make it a brilliant week for us and a disastrous nightmare week for Manchester United nothing worse than us beating them in the derby particularly in their own backyard wouldn't say no to another 6-1 however because there's no fans there to enjoy it it wouldn't quite be the same but still would be quite nice to uh, to see and I don't think we'll ever turn down beating Manchester United regardless of whether that is at home or away just so happens we do go to Old Trafford first for the first Manchester derby of the 2020-21 season we will be doing a live watch along of this game if you want to come and uh, check that out then please feel free to do so we will have a link out later on today if you want to come and uh, set your reminder to join us for that live watch along we'll be going live at five o'clock uh, p.m gmt uh, for the uh, live watch along of the manchester city game against manchester united at old trafford uh, so do check that out don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Like I said, I am aiming for 15,000 subscribers. I want to hit that before the new year, so any help towards that would be uh, much appreciated by me on that last big push now. Don't forget also to go and check out my social media links. You can find them in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe all that good stuff go and download the one football app too you can find that link to the download page at the top of my description uh, downloading it from there uh, would really help me out it does help to support the future content that is created on this channel and i'll see you all again for that live watch long of the big manchester derby on saturday so thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day i hope everyone is safe and well too i've been jsgc i'll see you all for the manchester derby peace Ciao for now.